Hello, my name is Blake with In The Hyperloop. Today we're going to talk about Delft Hyperloop and its test run in the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition. Everybody thought this would be really fast, but unfortunately it stopped a little bit too soon and um, you know, I think it was because of the heat and a lot of the batteries and stuff were overheating in that metal tube. But that brings me to a new uh, topic with Delft Hyperloop. They've released, I believe, the first online course ever from any team anywhere about Hyperloop. And it's free. It gets started November 13th. And I would highly recommend uh, you sign up for this. It seems like it's a you know a fairly lengthy course, about six weeks in length, about two to four hours per week. But you get to understand about Hyperloop, technical concepts, key hurdles, and developing your own ideas for Hyperloop. And I really just want to commend um, Delft, TU Delft, and the Hyperloop team in working really hard and getting this course published. Looking forward to signing up for it. Another team, Hart Hyperloop, also from the Netherlands, uh, announced that they have a new multi-million dollar investment th through Inno Energy, and it's really interesting. Um, I would highly recommend you read this press release. It's clear that um, Hart Hyperloop is moving forward, and other Hyperloop teams are moving forward, and the ever-present need for funding is real, but they are doing something about it. Um, which also brings me to another team uh, that's in Europe, Transpod. And they tweeted out a news article yesterday on uh, an interview with one of their team members. And unfortunately, it's in Swedish, but the general gist uh, is it gives you a behind the scenes look on what this team is doing, how many staff members they have in uh, North America, but also in Europe, in France, and in Italy. And, uh, really gives a good behind the scenes of what a uh, Hyperloop company startup uh, is like to work for. The next um, group I would like to show is kind of a um, collaboration between this uh, port authority in Dubai and Hyperloop One. And they are working together to develop the cargo speed cargo pod for the Hyperloop. And they won an award for project management and it's just really interesting um, to see kind of where this is taking different spin-off companies. Um, next, I just want to highlight that um, In the Hyperloop has a Twitter list and uh, we are tracking different Hyperloop companies in it. Um, Zelleros uh, tweeted a little bit ago that they have um, announced support from the local government to build a two kilometer test track um, so that's really exciting. I'd recommend you follow this list so you can stay in the loop um, with other Hyperloop companies. Next, it's kind of funny, but Kensington Palace uh, checked out Hyperloop and um, the Edinburgh University Hype Ed team uh, also got to speak with um, Prince William and uh, show off Hyperloop technology in this exhibit called Get North 2018. And it's about the uh, Northern Loop and how Hyperloop could uh, influence transportation to and from Northern England um, and Scotland. Uh, and it's just really interesting. They've done some really clever stuff in creating their own kind of Hyperloop tube in the exhibit and uh, the evolution from the horse carriage to the Hyperloop pod. Um, next is we are also tracking the SpaceX Hyperloop pod competition teams, they are working very hard on recruiting new members for the um, summer 2019 SpaceX pod competition. And I'd highly recommend you check that out. Also, our loop um, was, uh, uh, had a documentary film team um, from the History Channel, and that aired yesterday, so check that out. Um, Paradigm Hyperloop is also recruiting, EFP is doing, um, EPF, which is the Swiss team, is doing a lot of press. They're going out into the community and talking a lot about Hyperloop. Um, and that brings me to a conference that uh, they have recorded that talks about their project, 
um, why they're doing it in Switzerland, why they think it could affect Switzerland. And uh, it's just a really fascinating um, speak uh, conference and speakers. Um, I'd highly recommend you check it out on hyperloop.epfl.ch slash media. And finally, another Subway-esque kind of company, The Boring Company, are doing more events for their flamethrower, but also um, are getting student teams to check out their boring technology in LA. And that's really nice that they're doing a little bit of STEM outreach um, with the community and that they can control their boring machine apparently with a Xbox uh, remote control saying the best video game ever. And this is kind of a play on uh, another thing that Elon Musk had talked about a while ago about the traffic is the ultimate boss battle. So stay tuned within the Hyperloop for more updates and stay in the loop.